Hi, this is Mike Wise with Capstone Direct Mortgage and your weekly mortgage update. To say this has not been a great week for interest rates is an understatement. We have seen rates go up on the mortgages back up to some of their highs. So we're quoting rates in the high sixes and low sevens right now. And while this is disappointing, we do think that this is a temporary increase in rates. And here is why. Number one is the debt ceiling. No matter what side you land on here, it is a political hot button and both sides are trying to negotiate their way to get what they want. And as they do this, the end of the month is looming. This is when, if they don't get a deal done, the country will run out of money. So for those of you that don't follow this, the United States runs on credit. And as of June 1st, we're going to be tapped out on our credit limit. So it's just like you running up your credit card to the max. And once you hit that maximum limit, there's no more money. <laughs> so politicians have to agree to raise the limit on the credit and both sides are trying to negotiate. So if this deal doesn't get done before the end of the month, and we actually think it'll be done next week, it could be disastrous to the markets. And that is one of the main reasons we have seen rates jump this week. The second issue is bank assets. With the bank failures that have gone on over the past few months, the bond market has actually been flooded with assets from a lot of different banks. Even banks that are still in business, they're trying to raise cash so that they have more liquidity as their deposits are being depleted. And so this is causing the, the supply to go up and the bond market price is are increasing at this point in time. So this has had a big impact this week. And then also this week, we had the jobs report that came out. They were slightly better than expected. And retail sales were a little bit of a mixed bag showing that the consumer is still out there spending money, but the credit card debt is still increasing to all time highs. And this concerns me. We are a little concerned that the Fed Chairman Powell is speaking today. And because when he talks, the market always moves. And now we're hearing that there's a 40% chance of a rate hike at the next Fed meeting. We didn't think that there was going to be any more increases. And I still don't think there's going to be any more, but the chance has gone up to 40%. And the concerning thing is, is that they're always backwards looking. They're not looking forward to what's happening in the economy. In fact, today, the leading, indicate, leading economic indicators can, did come out and it kind of shows everything that you need to know that the economy is slowing. The index, it fell 0.6% in April, down for the 13th consecutive month. And this index is now down 8% year over year. The conference board that actually releases this data expects a mild recession later this year. And for good reason, because we haven't seen this indication down 13 months in a row ever. And so nor have we seen it go down over 8% year over year. So there are a lot of things showing that the economy is not doing well and that we're going into a mild recession the second half of this year and interest rates will go down as a result of that. So I know this has been a crazy week. This is Mike Wise at Capstone Direct Mortgage. I will be around this weekend. I may be holding my new granddaughter, Lila Rose, but I will be able to answer any phone calls that you might have. Thanks again, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.